Hello everyone and welcome back for a new Pixels Online video. If you are a new player that want to be free to play and you don't want to have a VIP pass and you are a bit lost about how to get started on the game, like what should be your priorities, should you do some quests, should you do the task from Azel or something else, then this video is for you. We will focus on two parts, uh, one before having access to the marketplace because this is really important and another one about having a, about after having access to it. So for before having access to it, you will have three main aims. First, to be level five on farming because it will allow you to plant the rainbow seeds, which give you the best task at Azel. And also the, to have a one queen bee to get some onis, which will be useful for the second aim which is to have 500 reputation, also called trust. This will give you access to the marketplace. Then there is a Hazel taskboard. When you are a new player, you should have some tasks that you should prioritize over others because you need to make some coins, but also to make some pixels. So we will look into that. And then after having access to the marketplace, you will have two choices. Either to focus on leveling up any industries because since you can sell any resources, you, it's really worth it to do any industry basically. While before you had to focus on some specific task for Azel to make some coins. But now with the marketplace, you can sell all your resources for a lot more than with the task. And the fifth point is to just focus on play to earn like you just do one industry and that's it you sell everything that you do every day and you buy everything you need for the Azel task board so first the level 5 of farming which are for the queen bow and to have a queen bee so why do we need this aim so First, because the queen bow is basically the best quest that you will have on Azel, which will be three queen bows for 1000 coins. So you spend like nine coins and you get 1000 of them. And for the queen bee, you will need 1000 coins to buy one. And you will require 15 onis, which will be used for the quest to access the marketplace. To reach a level 5 farming, you can simply farm the pop berries, and once level 2 is reached, you can also do the butter berries, which give a bit more. And you sh and for the queen bee, simply complete, complete the easiest task from Azel, and also do the daily dashboard connection claim, which give you 100 coins. Normally, it should take you maximum 3 days to reach the level 5 farming and also getting the queen bee because from the level up calculator from Tribali Games Pixel Tools we can see that it requires around 1610 energies and you get uh, 480 naturally and 200 per day with the sauna and for the queen bee simply do the quest at Azel then once the level 5 farming is rich and you have your queen bee, you can focus on the 500 reputation or trust to get the marketplace access because the marketplace is really game changing when you play pixels because you can easily sell and buy any resources that other players can make. And to do so, you will have to do two quests and also connect your socials. So that will be the Geo's Check Break quest and the Floor Podor quest that I will explain in more details. And then you can connect your Discord, Twitter, email and phone through the dashboard of Pixels. It should take also a few days for the two quests to be done. Before doing the two quests, which are the Floor Podor and Geo's, you need a prerequisite quest which requires level 5 farming which is also why we did that before. So you will have to talk to Fitz, who is at the northwest of Terra Villa. 
it will it will give you four quenbo seeds you will plant them and then water them collect them and give them back to fits and then you will be able to start the four puzzle quest so again you talk to fits who is at the northwest of terra Villa, and then talk to karen who is in the house near the co at the north of terra Villa. she will ask you to make some floor and for that you will need to find a windmill on a land that is free and here i gave some numbers of some lands that have windmills and hopefully there will be one that is free for you to use to craft the two floors that uh, karen is asking for you will need four grain bows so you will need to plant a bit more grain bows before going on the windmill and then you can give the two floors to karen and that will be done for this quest and finally you have the geos quest which is a bit more complicated because it requires a few more things so first you will need some honey so you will need to have a queen bee so just use the, the queen bee and get 15 honeys then uh, you will also need level one, one wine making so at the southwest of Terra Villa, there is a winery, and you should make one pop berry wine, which is done with four, 24 pop berries, 10 cooking mix that you can buy at Hazel, and 3 onis. After that, you can go at the north of Terra Villa, at the carnival, and you can talk to Geos, who is located at the southeast of the carnival map. And after that, you will need to farm a few things. So first, in the carnival, there are the cotton candy distributors that give you some seed to plant some cotton candy every day. So maybe for two or three days, you will have to go there and pick up some cotton candy, plant them in the carnival map because you cannot plant them anywhere else. And you will have to get 10 12 blueberry, 12 raspberry, and 3 blueberry, swirl cotton candy. And also 10 onis that you get from the queen bee. And the most difficult resources, resource to get is the cow milk, because to do that, you have to make a movement in a windmill, which requires 12 grain bows. So, which is around 36 coins, and also 20 cooking mix, which is 200 coins. And then you will have to feed it to the cow near Karen's house, and the cow will take 1 hour 20 to digest it. And you will either get coated or cow milk. It's between 5 to 10 percent chance of getting the cow milk. So, you have to repeat that as long as you don't get a cow milk. And finally, you can make the milkshake in the bazaar at the north of the city and deliver it to Geos. You can see the pictures about where the bazaar is and which machine you should use to get it. And I also put a link to the Web3 Triad's land website that gives you a list of land with windmills. And now, once that is done and you connected your socials, you now have access to the marketplace, which is really useful to do all the tasks that you need every day or crafting some other stuff. So now that you have the marketplace access, you can look at your taskboard. Here we can see that there are the carrots, floor, pop berries, also what I mean, carrot, but here. I'm lazy, I don't want to plant them because I'm focusing on the specific skill. So I will just buy 20 carrots, 20 floors, and 20 pop berries.
and that's how you can use the marketplace to easily complete your task in the task board and hope you will get some pixel task afterward. And now let's look at Azel taskboard with some tasks that you should do or not depending on which one they are. So I made a list that prioritizes them by the ease of making. So first there is the farming, then the pie cooking, carnival farming, mining, forestry, or cooking, conjure, and then all the other industries. So why is the farming the first one? Because you simply have to buy the seed and plant it. It's really easy. And for example, for the green boy, you just have to plant three and get 1000 coins. The only negative thing is that it takes some seeds, takes a few hours to be able to be collected. Then there is a pie cooking because the pies uh, it's basically the same as farming, but you add some cooking mix and you just have to cook them, so it's really easy as well. So, carnival farming you have some free seeds every day, cotton candy and grumpkin. And I think it only uses energy when you water them or something like that. The only negative thing is that grumpkin needs to be watered two times, so a second time after two hours. Then there is the mining from level 2 because you can on earth mine you can get iron it and also clays and I think there is a quest of 7 clays for 100 coins and also the drills that you buy at for 500 coins at Azel they don't break so it's really nice. However, for the mining, it takes 1 hour 30 to be able to collect something. And there isn't 100% chance to get some clays or some salt or later on voitonium. But it is a uh, voitonium is one of the bad quests. Then there is a forestry, so it's often 50 soft food for 100 coins. So I think it's like 3 trees to cut. You have 2 in Terra Villa. And one uh, in the land 107 that everyone can cut. Otherwise, you have to find a land that has some uncut trees, and that's difficult right now because everyone is cutting trees. So, it's, uh, by chance, you can get some. And also, if you want to do the hardwood, not the softwood quests. It's a bit expensive uh, energy wise as well. So depends on what you want to do. Then there are the other cooking quests, which are also uh, still easy but a bit more difficult because it requires elements from other industries like eggs, ponies, or something else. Then in the Granger, you have a few quests, but the easiest one is the floor one which uh, is like 10 floors, so you need 20, 12, 20 grand bows and a few cooking mix, I think, to get uh, 400 coins, I think. And then there are the other industries, but it's really too expensive to make because, for example, for the silk slug, you need 100 uh, silks for uh, a few coins or 1000 for one pixel, but you, it's really a lot of, uh, of energy to use to get them on the industries. So it's, it is not recommended to do them. Uh, and for example, let's look at what I got on my beginner account. So here is a screenshot of what I got and I made put some numbers on them and some red cross on the ones that I will not do. So first there is the pop berries, which are really easy. Then the blossom berries, salt cotton candy that you can get at the carnival, which are also easy to make. Then the soft food with the three trays you can cut. 
set the floor that I explained before that we can also do quite easily. And then 5x5 is are the irony that you get from mining. But here it's not higher than the floor one because on my beginner account I don't have a drill yet. So I cannot use the mining. But if I could I would do it. And then there are the ironite bars, which are one ironite bar is four ironites, and you need to craft them at the ceramicis on kilns. So I would also do it if I had the some drills to put on mines. And on the Red Cross one, there is a shoreline. This is a resource that is not accessible to new players. You had to play during a summer event. Then there's a comic like explained during Geo's Quest, it's really difficult to get. And then the sticks, because each stick is made from three soft wood, so you will need 75 soft wood. And so it's better to do the soft wood quest itself rather than the stick one. So that's how I would do them on my beginner account. Now that you manage to get access to the marketplace after doing the quest, you can focus on leveling up other skills uh, other than farming and cooking and mining, for example. So why we sh you should do that? It's because having some specific levels in some skills, it may be useful in the future. For example, in the play to adopt season, you need that level 5 mining or level 2 beekeeping, level 5 forestry, among some other skills, so it was useful to have them already ready before starting the play to add on. And how you would do that, it's you put as much queen bees, drill, slug, chicken on dedicated lands, and you simply use them. And what to do afterward, you can easily sell all the resources on the marketplace, and also you, you can buy some more resources to actually do the pixel task on Azel's tax board. But if you are not interested in leveling up some other industries, you can focus on the play to earn without thinking too much. That is, you can just focus on one specific skill, like you can just farming, farm water mines every day, scarots or quenbos, or you can do mining every day, or also beekeeping. So, for example, if you have a you want to do the beekeeping every a day as a non VIP, so free to play player, you get 720 energies, 240 from the sauna, and 480 from the natural energy regeneration. Each beekeeping action uses 2.5 energies, meaning you can die 288 times with apiaries, apiaries in a day. And assuming you are level 2 beekeeping, you would get 864 onis, which is around 80k coins on the 25th of February when this video was made, and also 86 wax, which is around 11 k coins. And so you would get 29k coins from it, which should be enough to do a lot of tasks today. So here you would sell all the onis, wax, and maybe queen bees that you don't need because from level 5 beekeeping you can also get queen bees. You buy other resources to complete the task board. And you, some recommendation is to not really do the ta coin task that costs more than 3k coins because it's quite expensive and it doesn't reward that much. And also to not do the pixel task that costs more than 10k coins except if you have a lot of coins because these 10k coins you could use them to do a lot of small quests like the green bow, pop berry or others and get some better pixel tasks and for example if you wanted to focus on the beekeeping one I put some lands that have two or more apiaries in the video and there's also a website where you can find which skills is the more energy efficient or coin per energy efficiency. 
data is on pixel.tip slash resources or slash crafting where you can get some more info. I hope you liked this video and that helped you understand more about what you should do as a free to play player. Because with the marketplace success, you can do a lot of pixel quests, okay, pixel tasks every day. And that would earn you like 50 cents per pixel right now. That may change in the future. So you can probably do at least 5 pixel tasks easily every day which is around 2.5 dollars right now. So I hope that helped you. See you next time.